Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. I have a very busy day today, so let's just get right at it. I get back in here a little bit so the wind doesn't mess up the sound. Here's my list. I gotta go collect seed from the prairie garden there. The only seed that I can collect is the side oats grandma and I gotta get it done as quick as possible because I have a ton of other stuff to do. Collecting side oats grandma goes real quick so not a big problem. Okay, I have a ton of stuff that I have to burn. We just got a bunch of deliveries and stuff, so there's a huge amount of boxes in the Breezeway project. Those all have to get out of there. We have high winds. It's ramping up throughout the day today, and then we have high winds the next two days. Very high winds. There's wind advisory, so I won't be able to burn for maybe four days. If I don't get it burned today, it won't get burned for a while. Uh, clean this shed. I'm gonna be cleaning most of the second part of the day, trying to get this front part cleaned up because I have to do some cutting a bit later. All right, what else do we have on here? Okay, I have to get the siding out of the truck. I have to run to the Amish place and pick up a couple more pieces of trim. I have to make a cage and put it on that tree up there. There's one tree that I pruned and now it's only 14 inches tall. And for some reason, animals like to come and just bite those off at the ground. So I have to get that cage on there. And lastly, I'm supposed to be getting a haircut today from Natalie, but I don't know if that's gonna be able to get worked in or not. All right, let's get going and go collect those seeds. Okay. I'm over by the side oats grandma getting ready to pick the seed. I have a patch here, there, and a bit over in this beautiful patch of grass right here. I think it's around the corner there. I'll show a little bit of the seed picking, but basically side oats grandma is one of the easiest grasses to pick. The seed, you just go right up the stem and I just did that slow you can do it really fast so I'm gonna go through here and pick as much of this seed as I can and then we'll move on to the next project okay these are the seeds that I collected from this area I'm gonna have to go get a bigger bag uh, this is halfway full and this little patch right here has probably two three times the amount of seed that this one did and the patch over there is pretty full as well. So I'm going to get probably a gallon bag. I probably should just get a box because it'll be easier to uh, collect the seed. All right, I'm going to do that and get to work on this patch. Okay, we got got like a half a box full from this part. Now I'm going to go get that last of it and then get on with the burning. This prairie patch looks absolutely gorgeous in the morning sun like this when there's no wind. You'd see that nice little patch of Indian grass right there. Yeah, this is really beautiful. All right, my seeds are right over here. Okay, we have a patch right here smaller patch there and I think there's one down at the end. I'm gonna blast through these and show you how much I got at the end. All right not a whole lot more seed from in here but combined with the bag I have in the house I have plenty. What I'm gonna do is put that bag into this and let this sit for a while let it dry out. I will be broadcasting the seeds a little later in the year. It's probably gonna be about three weeks but We'll have to wait and see. It's all based on the weather. Uh, just watch for the video for that. All right, let me get over and start burning. All right. 
right, two things down. Now I need to make a cage. This one is already made, but that's for a larger tree. I would just have to expand that. I have, ah, here we go. Be nice if I had one already made. Ah, that one's, oh, that's probably about the right size. I just have to put a cover on it. Let's see what I got here. I think between these two I should have what I need. All right, I have my little cage done, and I was going to tie it. I have this soft wire. It's like a baleen wire that I use when I make all these cages, but I spent probably 20 minutes looking for it, and I couldn't find it. I came through. Oh, it's pretty dark in here, but this is how it was. I want to have it right here where all my fencing stuff is. My fencing stuff and wire and stuff is all right in that area on that pegboard and down below. I thought to myself, well, someday it's all going to be right there where I need it. But for now, I got to find it. So I looked on that pegboard. I looked over there, looked on the pegboards upstairs, couldn't find it anywhere. So on the way back, I found this garbage zip ties that I was actually going to throw out at one point, but I figured I can use them on something. I used them instead, and I was putting away a tool, and sure enough, there it is, right on my shelf, right where it should be. A little bit hidden, but I didn't even look. I just figured it wouldn't be there and I'll have to find it somewhere else. What a big dummy. All right, now I need to go find some spikes and get this spiked into place. We are moving right along. I got the seed collected. I got the cage for the last tree done just now. I burned. Now I got to get this, the siding out of the truck. That's the siding right there. Um, I got to put that in the greenhouse. And then it is about, well, we'll see exactly. It's 10 to 12. The Amish uh, take off for lunch. They walk up to their house. The Their little factory is actually on their property. So I'm going to have lunch as well. Then I'm going to go pick up that trim and start working on the shed. Hopefully I can get a haircut as well. That depends on Natalie's schedule. And when I start cleaning the shed, I'm just going to get as much as I can get done until it's quitting time. The next two days are incredibly windy. There's wind advisories and they're going to be on the chilly side. So it's just going to be nasty out. I'm going to spend those two days working on this shed and just get it completely done or as done as I can. 
So I don't need to get a whole bunch done tonight, or any really. But if I have any time left over after going to the Amish and all that stuff, I'm going to start on this. So let's get that trim put into the greenhouse, have some lunch, and head over to the Amish. Okay, it's quarter after one, done with lunch, but I checked the tire on the truck and it's kind of low and I already brought the compressor over to the job site over there so that I can work on the siding. So now I have to bring that up by the truck and bring this stuff up there as well, fill the tire, go put that away, and then go to the Amish. to the Amish. You need help, honey? There you go.
Alrighty, I am back from the Amish metal place and I am out of time. I got this sample just to see a bigger sample up against the house, but I think this is going to do it. This is the textured stuff. I think that's probably the way we're going to go. I don't know. I'll ask the wife. So it's not going to rain, so I think I'll just leave this hose here and shut this place down. I have two days to get this cleaned up, and then on Monday, the trim that I just ordered will be ready tomorrow and the next day, like I said, are going to be cold and windy. So I'll either work in here with the door open if the wind's going in the right direction, or the door closed, and try to get this place completely done over the weekend. Then Monday, go pick up that trim, and it's going to be really nice for at least a week. So I'm going to run, pick up that trim. I'm going to order the stuff for the back part. And then I'm going to start work on getting the back part of the house done. And then, I don't know, the other stuff will probably be done maybe Wednesday. And I should be done with the back part of the house by then. And hopefully we can get the whole thing done this week. There's at least five days of nice weather next week, and I believe it's more than that. I believe it's like seven, possibly, yeah, seven days, I believe. So if you want to see this horrible mess cleaned up or the siding or any of the other stuff we're doing here, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.